Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some more Evil Dead the game and we finally had comms from the developers saying that matchmaking is not depending on your level, it is depending on your skill level which means if you win more matches you end up going against people who have won more matches as well. So if you're a demon and you've been winning a lot of your matches, you're gonna go against survivors who have been winning a lot of their matches. Likewise, if you've been losing a lot of your matches, you're gonna get matched with survivors who have been losing a lot of their matches. So all this talk about high level plays and that people who are high level are better, this, this is, <laughs> and I've always knew this, is absolutely BS. I've witnessed over and over again many demon games, players who are level 300, 400 plus and they really don't have a clue what they're doing and they keep losing matches and these are the same players who are going to be on Reddit just talking badly about the game. Now I'm not saying the game is all fair and roses for both sides, it's not. And this actually takes me to the topic of this video, which is the survivors have an advantage on the demon, but not the way you think. If you've been playing this game for a while, if you pay attention to map pieces, spawning locations, you will notice that there is a pattern. And then these map pieces, they can spawn in the same places over and over again. Now some players know exactly that. And what they do is once the first map piece is collected, they already know where the second one is going to spawn and the third one. So a lot of the time what happens is they split up and each goes to one location and the map pieces get collected at record time. And I've got this here on video to prove to you. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video about the super sweats, this is exactly what happened. They collected the first map piece and then 20 seconds later, they've collected the second map piece. And I thought, oh, it's RNG. But then someone told me, no, they know where they are. That's why they are splitting up and they're going to where the map pieces are. And I thought, mm, maybe. And then on this match, this is exactly what I saw. So I decided to make a move towards the survivors. They've got one map piece collected now. And I think this is where they are as per my spawn location and, and the objectives. And here is um, Warrior Ash. Now watch this. They're going to collect the second map piece right now. Someone will around across the map. And just watch what happens. Here we go. Second map piece collected. So the third map piece hasn't spawned yet. Look where he is. There's the map piece. He's sitting on top of it. Okay, now this is not RNG, right? He knew what he was doing. He he, he knew where the map piece was going to spawn. And to me, this is a problem. It's not a huge problem, but it is a problem as in, brings me back to the times when, I don't know how long you guys have been playing, but if you guys have been playing since day one or the very beginning, there was a time when, whenever the demon was exercised from the first objective, you would be exercised all the way across the map, sometimes 900 meters away from the objective and the survivors will be much closer to the objective and he had just missed that possession so then what will happen is the survivors will start the second objective and the demon had to go all the way back and by the time he got there it was already a quarter of the way down so that was unfair and that's why the devs made the change that they made so now ideally what should happen is once the first objective is done the demon spawns near the second objective they are leaving this to rng and it is happening that i am being exercised miles away from the second objective and the survivors are closer to the second objective than i am I have sent a report to Saber on this and hopefully they will address it because they, they shouldn't leave this to RNG. They should let the demon spawn exactly on top of the next objective. So here's me messing up a little bit, not looking after my infernal energy. So I'll just talk you through the rest of my thought process in this match, because even though they all prestige one, they have messed up a few things and I think they could have done a better job in a few things. So here I got quite lucky with my attacks on Sash and only because Hunter Ash was there, he got me out of the possession. Otherwise that Sash would have been toast. Okay, I'm just gonna abuse our possessions as much as possible. I'm gonna get those points in. That's it. Oh, I'm actually hitting my shots for once. I'm usually absolutely trash with my shots. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Not bad. Ooh. And that's me gone. Gonna keep possessing them. Okay. I hate this double barrel shotgun. Definitely not my gun. Alright, and you want to get the boss out as soon as possible, right guys? I don't know why some people don't like to get the boss out. Or they think the boss is not strong enough. Eligos in particular, I find it quite, it's quite good against hunters, because it gets invisible, right? I'm actually managing to do a decent job with the survivors here because they are taking quite a lot of damage on the first point which is not what you want, which is not what they want. And then notice that Sash ran inside the building and I don't know why he did that. If you're a support you don't want to leave your teammates alone. Yeah, let them do the looting, you want to stay near them. So I go for him. You see he could have been healing Kelly now, instead he's inside getting taking some damage and dealing with some units. Uh, Hash pushes us out of possession there again. Always want to keep those traps set up as much as possible. And as you know, I love my Thunderstruck. I know he only deals about 100 or 150 damage later on. 120, whatever it is. But you, you have the chance of hitting all four of them there, right? Okay, they've taken points. So we are nearish the next point, which is not bad. But I'm just gonna go straight back there because I know exactly where they are and also they're quite far away from the next point. So I'm just gonna keep that pressure going. I could have gone to the second point and start setting up the traps there. Uh, sometimes it's a spur of the moment thing. I just make a decision and I, I just thought here the best thing to do was just keep harassing them and right, they're still looting and they are looting because they took so much damage uh, there you go so he's gonna keep possessing i want to drop him into traps this is my favorite thing to do really is just drop them into traps I find it more useful sometimes to have another unit on the floor and, and make them take some damage. Okay. See, so this already granted me three possessions. Oh, he's got no more bullets. So I think going for them here, it was the right call. Because I got two extra points there to level up my demon. So they left two of their teammates behind, which I guess is fine, you do want to split up, but they are going the other way, so they, they, they're gonna do a big loop around. So then I decide to stay here with the other two and just try to harass them a little bit more. Now the other ones come out of the car. So this is Sash and Actually, the other three are here. Yeah, it's Sash and uh, Kelly. So Hunter Ash, which is our friend who knows where the map pieces are, he is gonna head, he is gonna go to point. And I kind of lose track of him here for a little bit, and I just get distracted by this engagement I have here. But I am dealing some damage, you know, I wanna get them to use the healables as much as possible. And there, he just just used another one and took some more thunder. And just Kelly's just taking, having a bit of a tough time uh, dealing with these demons. She should have been melting these units, and she isn't really. Then I just delayed them a little bit more here. A huge amount of points in doing this, but let's do it. And I think this is the point where I look at on the mini map and I see the warrior ash is very close to point, so I decide to go for him. Yeah, just under 400 meters, not terrible. Probably gonna get there near. I can't quite remember what happens here. Oh, and he is so annoying, look at this. Just got stuck. Got stuck, couldn't do anything, I was like, how do I get out of here? I don't know, and I thought I'll summon some units and then I'll possess and I'll try to get out and then I managed to get out anyway. 
but I would have been stuck there. Just so annoying. <laughs> These things happen, right? You get stuck on terrain. If I'm playing a survivor, I get stuck on terrain as well, which is so annoying. So sometimes you're trying to loop the demon and then you get stuck and it's like, Argh. let's remove this bloody rock. Anyway, we're here. Some units on the ground, not bad. So let's set up these traps first. Yeah, one more, and then let's, and then we'll get the boss out. So they're all kind of looking healthy. Wow, and Warrior Ash just took a lot of damage there. I don't know if you've seen it from all the explosions. Okay, took a double hit there from my Stone Hurl. I like to do a couple of hits with the boss and then move. Because if you keep spamming attack on them, sometimes they just get you, right? Because you, you're more vulnerable when you're attacking. And here what I did, because I knew I was going to die with the boss, I just depossessed the boss. And that avoided me dropping the healable to them. Because the boss always drops a healable, right? And someone gave me this tip on another video that I posted. So thank you so much for this tip. And I, I can't remember who you are right now, but if you're watching this, thank you so much, my friend. Okay, so a lot faster at this point. I got, there, I got there a little bit late, of course. But like I said, it is what it is. But here now is their mistake, right? They are across the map from, from the dark ones. A bit risky when you do this, because if you get delayed by the demon now, then the storm might eat you. I hear this awful stalls again. <laughs> like, no. Okay, so I decided to possess a car here. And then they trash the car. There's another car right there, so it's not a total loss for them. I had the rash was on me, so and this is why you always have want to have two cars as survivors. If one car gets taken, you have another car right there with you. So always do that. If you if you if you're driving as a group and you drive past the car jump off the car, one of you, and get into the next car. At this point, I guess I didn't know what my options were. I didn't know if all I had was book or did they have enough healables. I'm level 24, I could still level up a little bit more. How much of a difference would that really make? So I just wanted to make sure that these guys didn't have too much of head start here. So then because Hunter Ash, because Warrior Ash was here, I just decided to go for him with the boss. Right, he's doing the animations, cutscenes. And that was his potion, so he was very good. He's a good player, he's a good player. Can't really deny it. I didn't do anything. Not doing any damage. They're not looking the healthiest. Right, they're back starting the dark ones. Okay, it's gonna get some more points here by possessing. And really what I could be doing here is dropping some units on the ground and then possessing them. I think this was a mistake on my part. I could have done this a lot better. You see, at level 26, I'm already pretty much... I've got everything I want on level 26. My Sash is just dreaming there. He was dropping some ammo for Kelly, which is very good of him. That's what you want to be doing, right? You want to be dropping ammo to your count to your teammates. We got another unit in. Okay, they're almost done with the first phase of the dark ones. I would like to get at least one of them down. And I don't know why they're not rushing this a little bit more. They're just really wasting their time here. Yeah, so they, they did a little bit better. I dropped the units and then I decided to go for them. And then I get one of them down with Kelly. With this blunderbuss, which I hate, it's just one shot. So I decided to just bash him. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay. 
And I'm trying to possess him, and I got him. Oh. Alright, not bad. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and keep them from rezzing. Okay, so one is down. So if they finish Dark Ones now, that's a massive mistake, right? And it was Hunter Ash, which is really, really good. He's one of, he's the best survivor at the moment. And then Kelly is down as well. So then at this point, I just think, well, unless I really, really mess up, they're toast. Okay, so I let him go there. And then I'm just kind of sitting away to see what is he going to do. He's going to try to res someone. Because if he doesn't res anyone and he finishes point, then it's over. But maybe that's what he wants. Maybe he realizes now the game is over anyway. So let's just finish this. Right. So they're all dead. So there's no point for him to do anything. So I just decide to go for the book a little bit. Just to try and distract him. Because sometimes this one I've seen survivors win a game on their own at this point of the game. You see, they, they keep going for the cutscenes and that's that. So I think the best thing to do is always go for book. And then if you see them and you can get some hits on them, then you do it. You see? So I'm just going for book and then every now and then he's coming back. I turn around and then I hit him. He's using his healables. I can win if I just go for the book, I don't need to go for him. So I'm just gonna play cool. Yeah, he's messing up. He thinks I'm just going for the book, I'm just gonna bait him a little bit. That's it, we got one minute to go. Yeah, he's healing again, it's all good. You can heal as much as you want, I've got this. But I'm just gonna keep baiting him. And then I think it hits to a point where I just think, right, the, the book is just a smidge, so then I just decide to go for him. <laughs> okay, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, I hope you enjoyed some tips, maybe you know all this, maybe you have some tips for me. Give me some tips. I love to get better as a demon. And I, and I, and I hope I can help you guys get better as a demon as well. Like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Our victory was never in doubt.